Hi, this is Thomas Wright, Chairman of the Utah Republican Party. Thank you for coming to learn more about your neighborhood caucus. It's a neighborhood meeting. It's an opportunity to get together with your neighbors to talk about your values as a neighborhood. The state of Utah is divided into about 2,300 precincts. A precinct is involved with 1,000 voters. Anyone can attend the caucus, but only those who are over 18 and registered Republican or register as a Republican the night of the caucus can vote in the meeting. We're always excited for new people, always. The first thing we're going to do is open our meeting with a prayer. Next on our agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. We, the Republican Party of the great state of Utah, under our state party governing documents, we are required to read the state party platform for the Republican Party. Then we will take nominations. We'll do the precinct chair first. We'll then take nominations for the vice chair, and we'll do the secretary and or the treasurer. Basically, we're asking each of the officers to donate about an eight-hour day or twice in a two-year period. So once a year, an eight-hour period. So precinct chairs will attend approximately a two-hour meeting quarterly, and delegates are going to ask to be attending a convention that lasts about eight hours once a year for two years. If we didn't have the caucus convention system, what you'd see is candidates spending a lot of money on radio and TV and reaching the masses that way. It would really exclude the candidate who was underfunded but had a great message and really connected with people. Yes, Ron. I nominate, uh, state delegates elect state Jack. candidates. In their two-year term, state delegates will attend two state conventions, the state nominating and organizing conventions held in the Salt Lake City area. Hi, County name. delegates decide who will be nominated to be our Utah state legislators creating laws in Salt Lake, and they also have two different conventions. A candidate has to garner at least 60% of the votes at the state or their county convention. If they don't, then the state of Utah holds a party primary where the citizens, not just the delegates, vote in. Before the conventions, candidates spend all their time contacting the delegates. I can actually bring my neighbors into my living room and the governor will come and talk to us. You find another state in this nation that will do that for you. Is that what representation is or what? One of the biggest problems in American politics is lack of accountability by our elected officials. And they lack accountability because they can win campaigns using sound bites on TV ads. In Utah, they can't do that. Our caucus system requires our elected officials to interface with us individually. I would like to represent you as state delegate. If you're running to be a delegate in, in your neighborhood to go to the convention, you're saying, I'm going to go vet the candidates and I'm going to represent my neighborhood's values and beliefs in selecting the candidate. I'm here tonight because I'm concerned about Whether you've happening. run for a position, been elected, or vote for who you feel is the best person to represent you, you've contributed to the process in a meaningful way. I really enjoyed getting together with my neighbors again, and uh, it was good to hear their views. I didn't realize that we actually had that much voice and who gets nominated for our party. My voice is going to be heard. They're going to listen to me. They're going to want to talk to me. I recently moved here from California, and uh, they don't have anything like that there. I thought it was not intimidating. It was great to meet members of my community. We're talking about mothers and fathers, men and women, elderly and the young. We need everyone. To elect these delegates so that every voice Every neighborhood is heard across the state of Utah. One person can make a difference. It can be you, and it should be you. So please attend your caucus meeting on March 15th.